Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time. If you are new, we are back to watch another episode of Bodies. This is episode seven. It's called Catch Me If You Can. Before we jump into this, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And if you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, let's jump into episode seven of Bodies. Bodies. Looks like a piano key. Eighteen ninety. Eighteen eighty nine. Oh my god. The extra year flip. Threw me off, bruv. Okay. Those crutches, though. Some nice wood. Well, you made it, brother. He, he was most insistent. If it is not your son, I hope you will forgive us. All I care for is the truth. <laughs> Lies. You know that ain't your boy. Mother. <laughs> He's just gonna gaslight this old lady. <laughs> she just like, in her relief, just forget what her own son looks like. Son. My son! <laughs> Bro, how do you not feel bad for lying to this lady? Of course, you remember Cook and Stella? Sure. And Archie. Literally everybody here is like, who the frick is this guy? like your boy. What were you? Fucking giant. Yeah, he's a big guy. Do you know my son? <gasps> okay. Interesting. Did you hurt him? No. I have little money left to give. I will get you money. And if you will allow it, I will love you like a son. I'll protect you. So he's like letting her know, I ain't your real son. I'll turn this old house into a home. We will have a family. You will be a grandmother. <laughs> So easily she's swayed. Kill that dog. Pass the cards if we can get a new dog. <laughs> so mean. His plan is just working perfectly. Is that journalist again? What does he want from us? Is that right, Steve? Wow, seeing different scenes from uh, previous perspectives. My locket! Oh, I think he paid that little boy to steal that. Sorry, I cannot thank you enough. Polly, what on earth were you doing chasing after him? This gentleman was trying to get the locket back. Duh. Look, I see. You have our thanks. I know you. But Rather, you, you were in the church just now. Yes. Yes, you. You play very well. well. Hardly. No, I live with my mother. She's getting on, and believe me, she tries to play. So, from where I'm standing, you play very well. Quit flirting. You corrupt Polly. Perhaps your mother would like to hear me play. 
If she can no longer play for herself. Polly. She has exceptional grades. Yeah, and she's gonna kill a child one day because of him. You must come and play for us again. It would be my pleasure. He's just, he's too good. He's too good at flirting. So charismatic. I don't know if you're supposed to see that. At least not yet. Rumor has it the painter saw the dead body lying naked in the lane after it appeared out of thin air. It's one of those creepy ones that follow you around the room. Creepy ones? <laughs> you don't speak yeah. like other people. Well, that's because he's from the future. So that thief that snatched my locket... He knew it was going to happen. You knew he was coming. You, you knew you'd catch him. He planned it. Polly, don't fall for it. Any news on our Inspector Hillinghead? A concerning development, Sir Julian. Hillinghead appears to have a photograph of you that could become incriminating. And soon we'll have a photograph of Hillinghead, which will be substantially more incriminating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought that perhaps that you might. Also, Julian, you, you have the ear of so many. I, I beg of you, please. Nothing he can do. What is he going to do? Oh, they chant shame at him? Interesting. Hello, sir. Well, you could have let that journalist take the blame. But instead, you chose to sacrifice yourself. For what? For common decency. For his soul. What do you want from me? He just came to taunt you. Came to ask your, your permission daughter. for your daughter's hand in marriage. You stay away from her. I promise you I will love her with all my heart. As you love Henry. Don't you touch my daughter! I will kill you. I will before you lay a hand on her, I... I cannot let you jeopardize this. No. Oh, farewell, Alfred. Damn, no, how do you just, like, act across from this performance? I'm sorry if that did this way, Helling What are you gonna... Are you gonna kill him? What is happening? I have some bad news. Your father. He was afraid to face justice. I'm so sorry. He took his own life. Damn. <laughs> Okay, into the future. The wine's still chilling there. <laughs> yeah. His bag with all his notes on how to use the machine. If caught on next drop, 
might survive. What does that mean? When I shot you, the throat sent you back. Again, why would we call it July, the throat? When I found you. We could call it the cortex, we could call it anything. Time travel, going both backwards and forwards, is possible. Catch me if you can. Catch me if you can. If caught before next drop, might survive. Look, you do what you need to do, then you probably will tell me what's happening. She's gonna fix everything. Oh. She's here. You did your job. So why bring me here? She's got some wet ass eyes, brother. I regret shooting the foe with every part of me. But maybe we can still save them. Maybe we can save everybody. Remember, as soon as he lands, you keep him calm and still, or the head brace won't secure. You'll have to be quick and precise. Got it? You're good to go. Damn, okay. How long do we wait? Approximately 12 seconds from now. Calm him down. Keep him still. So, hey, Gabriel. You need to chill the F out, Gabriel. We're saving you. Crazy, bruh. Ah, friggin' Polly. She's taller than him by a decent amount. I don't like it. I hate them together. It's the worst. Oh, she's pregnant. Are you all right? She is the Pringle scan. Congratulations to Julian. You're the proud father of a healthy baby boy. Frickin' police commissioner rat bastard. This man is psychotic. Every single aspect of this is just part of his plan. It's time for you to know the truth. Come with me. Come with me. You were part of a grander plan than you could have imagined. It's the middle of the night. Why are these people here? Follow me. This would be so creepy. Don't be scared. You know him already. He's a messenger. Our part in this is to be the keeper of his secrets. Not to let anybody know the truth. It's weird as hell. Freaky weird guy. Hail, Lady Hawk. And know that you are loved. No, you are loved. Hail. I would, I would flee. The son begets the father. The father begets the son. We're just the creepiest world. line of 
succession ever. Hail, Lady Hawk. Time to flee. Run for your life. My name's Elias. Elias Mannix. Hayden will grow up and he'll have children. And their children will have children. And one of them will be my father. Yeah, it's weird and incestuous. If I don't exist, then neither does our son. You're my flesh and blood, Polly. You always have been. It's gross. You are your husband's great great grandmother. <laughs> no, you are love, Polly. I've always loved these earrings. Which one do you think is more disarming? This is the last record, sir. I hate them. I want Polly to be pure, and not a bad person. Once you know the truth. Changes you. You can't stay the same. No, you cannot. Before the bomb went off, his dad, his adoptive dad, Andrew Morley, he told me something I never understood. And that's what was so hard. Knowing that Elias was going to end up so full of pain over what he did, making him do something you know he's going to regret. He regrets it. Manix died full of regrets. Maybe. So that's our way in. Okay. So a seed of doubt. Get him to change his mind. If the universe wants him alive, we just need to outsmart the universe. Uh, easier said than done. Well, oh, she can't walk. Her spine thing is gone. Fuck. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so we have a, a, a plan, theoretically, to fix all this, and that is purely to uh, sow doubt in Mannix's mind. Right, like, so Shahar in the like current present day she's already done a whole lot to sway elias to the good side right she's done pretty much everything that she could possibly do said pretty much everything she can say to sway this man uh into doing the right thing and it and it didn't quite work but if another person involved in the loop comes back and is like hey i've seen where it all leads you die bitter and regretful <laughs> like you at the end of it all you are upset about the role you played in this and it almost like th this is the <laughs> okay um how do i explain this it, the scene in the bedroom when he's recording the last um the last thing is the only 
sense so far that I've gotten that he seems regretful. Like every other scene that this man is in very much feels like he is driving this, right? He is the one that's fully in control. He is, he is sculpting this at his own will. And you're just, you're watching all the pieces fall into place and all these different things happen from different perspectives and you're, you're seeing the whole, you know, sculpture come together. Uh, and then, and then there's that one scene right before Polly is about to go kill, um, the little girl. I don't know, just the look in his face, like he, he seemed resigned to the whole thing. Like, I don't know if he knew, hey, I die right here or if like, or like what he was thinking, but Polly's like, hey, the past is a real place. No one ever truly dies. And he just seemed, I don't know if he seemed like disappointed or, or, or what, or regretful. I don't know, but he's recording the last thing and he seemed, he seemed slightly regretful. And the only other person who seemed to know that, I mean, maybe they all knew it, but at that point, it's so much of a, like, it's, everyone's already so bought in, you can't go back type thing. Um, you know, he, he least of all can't go back. <laughs> like, he can't switch up <laughs> at the end and be like, actually, I don't want to do this. Because then it would be like, everything happens for in vain. But, theoretically, paradoxes and time travel and all these things, if they can sow that doubt into him, that is like, hey you you end up regretting all these actions then he won't do it and then it breaks that loop and then seemingly everything is fine i think but i'm not 100 percent sure this episode was definitely like the the valley <laughs> you know there's peaks and valleys of like hey we're feeling good and hey i'm upset and this episode is definitely i'm not in terms of the quality of the episode the episode quality itself was great um but it's it we're in the valley of like everything is going right for the bad guy <laughs> everything possible is going right for the bad guy we're seeing him go back in time and his his plan just coming together perfectly marrying polly her falling for him just this polly was this sweet girl she was this sweet sweet girl who just liked to play piano and, and was just too easily manipulated to then you know at the end we see her just willing to kill a child uh, and, and like callously speculating over which handkerchief is more disarming. And it's like, oh my God, like Polly, what have you become? <laughs> it's like, it's the worst. I just want Polly to be happy with her family and have, find an actual nice man to marry. Um, <laughs> it just sucks. And, you know, Healing Head is killed. Like they kill him. They killed him and they blamed his his death on himself they're like oh yeah he killed himself and you know whitehead is is dead we have shahar struggling in in the future she got shot she's barely alive and then maplewood is regretting her her actions in this whole thing and so it's just everyone's having a bad time <laughs> i mean even like right at the end when we think we have a plan <laughs> to to fix this all maplewood jumps back and she ain't got her spine thing like the the worst possible situation. I mean, we knew like she's jumping back in time. Eventually, she's going to have to charge her spine and won't be able to. But now like she jumps back and doesn't even have it in at all. Like in the first place, she's just going to be like crippled. Like what is she supposed to do? I don't understand. Like unless she like how how do you I I think I just need to watch the next episode because I legit have no idea like what what is gonna happen like how how does she make it out of this <laughs> I, I have no idea um, but I'm I'm very curious to find out we're gonna jump right in the next episode though um, just cuz I, I feel like watching it and I wanna I want to I want to be done with the show like I love the show but I also like I I, I enjoy the feeling of knowing I, knowing I completed the show and have the full story <laughs> <laughs> right 
So yeah, I'm gonna jump right into the next episode. So if I'm wearing the same clothes in the next video, that's why. But uh, definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious. Uh, if you enjoyed my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you wanna see the full uncut version of this reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.